Hey guys, Jane Hamill, Fashion Brain Academy. Happy Monday! Today we're talking about making up your own rules for your own business. You do not have to run your business like other people think you should or like you think you're supposed to based on what people are suggesting and telling you. Here's a story for you and it's about Johnny Cupcakes. If you're not familiar with the company, head over to their site, check it out, you're gonna, it's great. Um, so Johnny Cupcakes was founded by Johnny Earl. His nickname was Johnny Cupcakes and he created a t-shirt to just sort of, you know, make fun of, the, of, of his, you know, name and logo and he created this very cool cupcake with crossbones, whatever. Started to take off, people were like, I want one of those, I like that t-shirt, it's cool, it was a really great design. So lo and behold, he has a little business where he is selling them out of the back of his car. Um, including he's working at a record shop in Boston and he has to pretend he has to keep taking bathroom breaks to go outside and meet people and sell some t-shirts, right? So fast forward, he decides to do a trade show. His second trade show, I believe it's Pool in uh, Las Vegas, he starts to get some orders and he gets orders from Urban Outfitters, Nordstrom, Macy's, he's, you know, he's really like pumped. And at the same time, he starts to notice a brand that he really liked called Obey was in a lot of different stores and he started to see them everywhere and he felt a little bummed that they were getting so almost overexposed as well as well as the, as the story goes, he's at the trade show and he starts, he sees a, a guy with some really cool shoes. He's like, man, those are great kicks. And then he sees the next guy with the same shoes and he sees them again. And he starts seeing these super hot shoes on like seven different guys and he's like, well, that sucks. Here I wanted to go get them, but now if they're everywhere, I'm not as interested. So after the trade show, he takes those orders he got and he rips them up. And he's like, you know what? Not for me. What I would rather do is keep my business tight. And the way he, um, he describes it, um, he placed the orders, he ripped them up, and he pulled all of his shirts and his product from all the other stores that he was selling to. Um, he just wanted to have the exclusivity and the uniqueness and control the distribution so it was more special and people would be excited about the brand because it wasn't overexposed. He didn't want his business to become really big really fast like that and maybe it would be a fad and it would go away. He was looking more uh, keep to keep it exclusive and the longevity of the brand. So it's really, really, really interesting. Um, so basically, the, most people I really, really feel would think that he was crazy. You know, if Urban Outfitters walked in, a lot of us would be like, oh my God, not only is it a cool store, but I'm seeing dollar signs, right? He really just wanted to keep the brand more exclusive and he really was more interested in having the customers know and understand what they're buying and know the story behind it and really he's really into building the brand behind it and his story it's very very important to him so interesting interesting play that he made because he went for you know it could have been a short-term huge win to get those huge orders right now but he decided in the long term this is how I want my business to be I'm designing the business to be just the way I want it and not the way I'm supposed to do it or other people think I should or the natural advice would be like yeah get those orders giddy up man so the moral of the story is for you to remember you don't have to do the way business is normally done you don't have to do business the way you think you're supposed to because gurus say you should. Matter of fact, you don't have to do anything at all that you don't want to do with your business at all. Remember, you get to make up your own rules and do things your way. Trust your gut. Just look inside rather than all the external forces telling you or suggesting what you should do, man. You got this. You just trust yourself, trust your instinct, and make your own Play-Doh. All right, I hope that helps. If you have a question you want me to answer in a video, put it up on Facebook or Twitter. Hashtag on Twitter and Instagram is at Fashbrain. And, no, sorry, that's the handle. And the hashtag is at J uh, Ask Jane's Brain. All right, catch you next time. Have a good one. Bye, guys.